Are you wondering how to get this all Laravel setup in your machine? Then don't worry as this video will be all about setting up the environment for creating and running Laravel project. So stay tuned. Hello guys, this is Neha from Webstack and welcome to another episode of Laravel series. Before getting started, if you are new here, make sure you click on that big subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get all the video updates from me. So in order to set up Laravel, we need some ingredients like any other recipe needs. So the ingredients we require are PHP, MySQL, Composer, Editor and some few commands. So let's dive into it. So the very first requirement for setting up this Laravel environment is PHP and MySQL. So uh, there are two options like if you need to install them separately you can do that but I prefer to use XAMPP. So you can install XAMPP for your windows and it's a free and very popular PHP development environment. It incredibly comes with all the things that is required in a server side uh, development that is Apache, MariaDB, PHP and Perl. So if you are using uh, Linux then you can just switch to the LAMP version and if you don't want to use these packages so you can simply use or install PHP and MySQL through command line. As I have already installed the XAMPP in my system so I will not be uh, downloading it again. So you can simply download it from here and you can install it on your system. So after this XAMPP we will be requiring some editor so that we can work on our project. There are many popular tools available in the market today for uh, code editors like Visual Studio Code, we have PHP Storm, Sublime Text and also we have Atom. So I'll be using VS Code in this complete series as I'm more comfortable and it already comes with the terminal. So uh, you can use any other editor in the market you like. You can use PHP Storm, Atom or you can use Sublime Text. So you are free to use any text editor that you are comfortable with. So we can download this editor from here and you can simply install it. So I already have this in my system so I'll be skipping this step. Now the next thing which is very important for uh, getting into the Laravel is called Composer. So if I talk about Composer we have already seen it in the last video. If you have not seen that video I'll provide the link in the description box below and you can also check on the screen. So Composer is uh, a dependency manager in Laravel which is very important similar to uh, npm which we have in node.js which is also a package manager for node. So it actually manages all the packages that is required by your uh, Laravel project. So we can take an example like if I want to uh, include the dates or uh, the, my project then I can simply install a package for the date or if I need to fake some data or the URL I just need to install a faker package. So I know you uh, are not comfortable with Composer yet but hang in there because we will be learning about it in depth throughout the series. So I promise you, you will get comfortable with it after couple of videos. Uh, so first of all, you need to download this composer on your system. So in this page, you will get the composer setup.exe file. You can simply download this exe file and it will actually install your composer uh, globally in your uh, machine. So you don't need to set any uh, dollar path environment variable explicitly because it will uh, automatically set that environment variable. But if you are using Linux or you want to install this composer manually then you have to simply copy these commands on the CMD. Just in, uh, click enter and uh, just run these commands and after that you need to do one more step that is you need to uh, set the dollar path variable for this composer file uh, so that it is available globally uh, for you. 
So now that I have downloaded this file, so let's just open this file. Now we need to select the install mode. So I can just click install for all users. After that, it will be installed in your system. And just click on next. And yes, this is a very important uh, step that it will ask for the PHP file, which will only be uh, seen when you are using uh, the XAMPP. So if you have not installed XAMPP or if you are using the uh, multiple PHP files, then it will uh, surely create a problem for you to install this uh, software. So now I need to just click on next and it will take some time and it will check the command line PHP and it will install that in your system. So you just need to skip this proxy URL. We don't need it and just click on install. It will install the composer on your system. So here is the composer that is successfully installed in our system. Just click on next and yes, it has installed and that's it. We need to finish that setup. Uh, after this, we can verify whether this composer has been installed or not. You just need to open this CMD and it is already inside C drive users and the name of my uh, system is HP. So inside it, I'll just need to write the command called composer. And if you click enter, it will give you the composer like this and the version of the composer as well. So this means that composer has been installed successfully. So now uh, we will be installing or uh, creating the project for Laravel using composer. So there are two steps or two methods uh, through which we can install Laravel. Let's see what are these two methods. So the very first method is we can install Laravel installer and then we can create the new project of Laravel. So to uh, just get the Laravel installer, we can use the composer command and then we can write global then require so it's composer global require uh, then laravel slash installer so it will take some time to install this uh, installer and using this installer we can simply create the project of laravel so here i'll be pausing the video so that it gets installed so yes, Laravel installer has been downloaded successfully and you can see that uh, it is installing all these things with the help of Composer only. So now we can create a new project using this Laravel installer. So we can simply now create the project using Laravel installer. We can simply write Laravel new and then we can write the project name so let's say the project name is Lara app and you will click enter. So it will be crafting or creating this project in your system. So as we can see, this project is getting downloaded and various dependencies are also getting downloaded with the help of that composer. So it will take few minutes to get this project created with all these dependencies. So here we go and now the project has been downloaded successfully with all the packages from Composer. Now is the time that we open this project with the help of the editor called VS Code. So to open that uh, project in VS Code, we will simply just switch to that uh, project that we have created. So I'll just write change directory and then my project name that is Lara app. Now I'll just write a command uh, to just open that project inside this Visual Studio code. So I'll just write code space dot and then if I press enter, it will open my project in that Visual Studio code editor and here it is. So I have already told you that this VS code comes with a very powerful tool called terminal. And it comes with this PowerShell as you can see here. Uh, so if you want to open it, uh, you can just uh, see this header and here you can see this terminal. Just click on this new terminal and this PowerShell will be opened for you. 
So if you are not using this terminal inside VS Code, you can simply shift to CMD and you can write the same command here as well. But make sure that you are inside your Laravel project. So now to run the Laravel project, now you can use Artisan CLI. So this is a very powerful CLI which is provided by Laravel and it has got many features. One of the feature is that it starts the server to view our project. So for that, we will use a command called php artisan serve and then I'll click on enter. So it will actually uh, start the development server on some URL and we can check here. It has shown that the server has been started on this URL. So if we just copy paste this URL on our browser, you can see that the project gets opened and this home page is getting displayed. That means our Laravel project is working fine. So congratulations, you have installed Laravel and you have also seen how to uh, see the project on the web browser by using artisan command. So apart from this, I would also like to tell you one more method through which you can create the project. Uh, the second method that I have told you uh, is actually you can simply write the command using composer and with a single command you can create the project. So you don't need to install that installer and separately you don't need to create project. You can create the project directly in a single command. So that command is composer create hyphen project and then you have to write laravel slash laravel then you can write the project name. Let's say it is my project. So if you click enter, it will start downloading the dependencies and all the packages that is required for the project. So this is how you can create the Laravel project by these two methods. And that's it. You just need to run it over the server by writing this command called php artisan serve. So that's it for this video guys. If you like the content, please hit that like button and do subscribe and share with all of your friends so that they can also benefit from the series. So see you in the next video.